Hello, welcome to Life and Pick Row, and today we're indoors, and today I'm going to show you how to treat woodworm. In a minute, I'm going to show you what woodworm looks like. But first, how do you prepare the surface? Preparing the surface is quite easy. First, you're going to have to take the paint off using a heat gun, if you have one, and then it's manual labour, and it involves a sand block and sandpaper. And it's literally back and forth taking any spur paint off and if you're getting into the grooves roll it up and again down and up it is laborious it does take time but as you can see the results speak volumes but after you sand it what then we can't leave all that dust hanging around so in comes mr hoover with this nozzle, which I have no name for it, it's the wiry carpet nozzle. And then literally it's just <laughs> And you wanna go all over the wall sucking out all the dust. This is what woodworm looks like. You can see tracks where the larvae moved through and the holes are where the adults come out and fly away and bore into more wood. So we're going to treat this. But what then I hear you ask? Well, you have to get something to treat it with. And I use a triple action liquid like this. This is not a recommendation. It's up to you to find your own. You want to find something that treats dry rot, wet rot and any boring insects and their larvae. That's what you need. I go for the clear treatment and I use a really big brush and a small brush to get into the grooves. And it's then a matter of pouring it into a bucket because it's easy to pour into a bucket. And then it's just about treating the wood, which I'm going to show you how to do that now. So take your paintbrush, soak it in the liquid. Make sure you take off the excess. I feel like Bob Ross now. There you are, that's a reference for you. And then it's a matter of on the wall. Like so, doesn't matter if it dribbles. Make sure you put cloths down. You're going to do about two coats of this. And you can see why I've gone for a big brush. Because it covers the area faster. I'm going to go over it then again with a small brush. Dipping it in my liquid, taking off the excess. Thank you, Bob. And then going between the wood down the groove now you need to do this before you even remotely think about painting your wood because if you don't what's going to happen is in a few years time you're going to find little holes in your painted wood because the woodworm is still there so treat your wood first then paint it afterwards now hopefully it goes without saying that if you're going to do this make sure you're in a well ventilated room because this is a chemical after all and it will make you slightly high after a while and could indeed cause respiratory problems so wear a mask which is the big thing at the moment you used to wearing masks outdoors well you're gonna have to wear it indoors for this so until next time goodbye from life and pig row and if you enjoy what we do don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell in the corner so you're notified every time we post up Bye-bye.